Is the government actively stealing our energy? What up guys, welcome to Chad's Hot Goss, where we deliver the hot truth that no one else knows about. Okay guys, so a story came out recently that 700 energy drinks were seized from South Australian retailers after it was revealed that they contained as much caffeine as 9 cans of Coca-Cola or 3 shots of coffee, nearly doubling the legal caffeine limit of 320 millis per liter. The energy drinks in question were G Fuel, Bang, and Rays. So according to my anonymous source, Brett... There are plans to conduct the same operation in America. Let me say that again. There are plans to conduct the same operation in America. Guys, I don't want to go here, and I know a lot of people have been getting on me for fear mongolian, but this is the beginning of tyranny. Sorry to bring out the T word, but this is the beginning of tyranny, okay? The book of 1894 it's happening now. What? This is how the government will attain total control of all of us unless we do something to stop it right now. And you can see how they're playing with the language already. I mean, nine cans of Coca-Cola. What does that translate to? Three cups of coffee? Dude, I got a quad espresso, no problem, okay? You think I can't handle that government? Quit it with the language. All right, guys, we all know this. The first move in their playbook is to come for our energy. Read the documents, okay? To strip us of our stoke. That's their first move. They wanna take our power and it comes with our stoke. And they'll do it under the guise of these drinks being bad for our hearts. Uh, excuse me, but uh, nothing gets my heart running faster than ripping a C4 and running some sprints, okay? So, ah! yeah, it looks like I just bunked your theory, medical community. <laughs> Why don't you guys go back to the Ivy League and do some rowing? Geeks, can you believe these guys are trying to control us? I mean, are we really gonna let dorks do this? Come on. But guys, this isn't the first instance of the government attempting to take control, okay? This has been happening for years and we're letting it happen. First, it started with the big siege of Fort Loco, 2009. You guys all remember Fort Loco and if you don't, it is the greatest beverage in existence. I'd start off the night with a classic Ocho Loco, that's two Four Locos, I'd black out, then I'd black back in, ripping darts with the baseball captain, okay? No other beverage can do that. No other beverage can do that. That's why it was only around for like two weeks. And it was so sick and the government just took it from us because they don't like when we have gold. I mean, as history has shown us, when something is too good, the government wants to take it away. Probably to Area 51 so they can have it all for themselves just like the aliens. The aliens, I know they know how to party. You know, this is probably what they're doing to Area 51 with all that Four loco. <laughs> the intelligence community? Sounds like a synonym for dorks. And they should be treated as such, alright? Let's stuff these dudes in the locker and stop for them trying to take our power and stuff nozzles then they went after our vapes i mean literally a way to smoke nicotine with zero health consequences it's just water vapor and they're like oh no that's too bad for you what this is what our ancestors dreamed of i mean vapor that gives you a buzz that tastes like birthday cake imagine showing that to a dude in the 1800s look at that then they went for our Zins, the classic Zimbonis, beautiful buzz delivering pillows, again with zero health consequences. They just lead to lightheadedness and heavy bonding and boning. I mean, what's next guys, banning EDM? No more DJs in Vegas, no more X Games, no more Limp Bizkit. Is Fred Durst gonna become a political prisoner? I don't know. This is what energy drinks give us. What do you guys think happened with the brand No Fear? They took it away. Who did? Controlled opposition. Because the government, they want a population with fear. It's so obvious. Not to mention Adderall is having a shortage. Adderall is having a shortage. The government literally wants us dumber, okay? They have the limitless pill and they don't want us to have it because they want us dumb, all right? I remember when I first took Adderall, I wrote something called a thesis. Now, I don't even know what that word means. The government's just scared of guys. They're just scared of guys like this running around. They don't want us to be so sick. They don't want us to be cool. I mean, one thing is clear, guys. The government does not want us amped, all right? They're trying to put us to sleep. They fear a populist fist pumping on high alert. You can't control the general population when they're hyped up on 320 millis of fiend. That's caffeine. My anonymous source, he says that they plan on putting Ambien in the water supply. 
say goodbye to days like this. I mean, it's happening before our very eyes, guys. The government is going to take over 7-Eleven, and then we're all screwed, okay? I mean, I remember when I shotgunned two tall boys of Monster Energy. Then I hit the 405, and I thought, you know what? I should start a new country centered around ATVs. I mean, that's how powerful this stuff is, and that's why they want to take it away. That's why the government wants to take control of you, and it starts by taking your energy, by taking your amp. Are you mad yet? Because I am. You know why? Because I'm amped. As soon as these energy drinks go away, all these thoughts of like knowing what the government is up to, they go away too. And that's exactly what they want, guys. They want you to be sleeping. They want you to be on a Segway, wearing a helmet, not even thinking about the T word as they impose it on you, you know? <laughs> like uh, putting a lightsaber in your ass. <sighs> So that's why I'm going to come out and say it, guys. We need to put an end to this tyranny right now. I'm calling on you, all dudes with tap out shirts and dirt bikes. Post a photo of your energy drink on Instagram right now. Shove it in their face. Let's start a movement to keep these government officials from tying us down and putting us to bed. Let's stop them in their tracks. Shotgun your monster and let freedom ring. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this important message on Chad Talk Oz. Make sure you like, subscribe, spread the good word. This is, you know, we're talking about our freedom here. And it's important that you keep fighting the good fight. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being gossers. I love you and good night.